Hello, grade threes. Wow, this is amazing. The first time I've ever presented a lesson online. I'm a grade three teacher. I'm so happy to be in your homes. And from now on, I'm going to be teaching you maths and English on worksheetcloud.com. So welcome again. Uh, it would be good to have a pen or a pencil and paper handy for you to use later on in the, in the presentation. And you can email me with questions about today's lesson on the Grade 3 email address provided by worksheetcloud.com. Before I go any further with the lesson, I want to, want to uh, introduce myself to you properly. My name is Liz Harmon, or Mrs. Harmon, or Mrs. H. I am currently a Grade 3 teacher. I live in the beautiful city of Cape Town. I am married to Cliff. I have two lovely daughters called Jenny and Taryn, a son-in-law Justin, and a lovely little seven-month-old granddaughter Madison. I also have four-legged animals in my family. And so just that you can get to know me a little bit more and not think I'm just a little face in the bottom of your screen, here are my four-legged creatures. Timothy, who's 17, Bella, who's 10, Chelsea, a rescue dog, and Dexter, also a rescue dog. They are two and one respectively. Um, then I've got a picture showing how my cats and my dogs even get on so well. And then Dexter and Chelsea are besties. Right, we did leapfrog on Friday um, and we used very small numbers. We're now going to use bigger numbers. But before we get on with that, we're going to do a starter for the day and we're going to do a couple of patterns. And you're going to have to continue the pattern after you have discovered what the pattern is. What do you think the first pattern is? How many jumps are we jumping between numbers? Three, well done. So the next number up from 22 plus 3 is 25, then 28, then 31. And the next one is a bit different because we're actually moving backwards from a bigger number down to smaller numbers. And we are counting in fives, absolutely. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Our third pattern. Can you tell me... What, how many jumps we're jumping in? Right, well done, we're jumping in four. So 45 plus four is 49, plus four, 53 plus four is 57. The last um, pattern example is a bit different from the other three. The other three, the first one we jumped in threes, the second one we jumped in fives, the third one we jumped in fours. And right, this one now, we are jumping in a different intervals. If you have a look here, you'll see that we count 1 from 10 to 11. We've done one jump. Then from 11 to 13, it's 2. And it looks like every time we jump, we are jumping one more. So from 13, we're going to jump to 16. We're going to jump in three jumps. And then we're going to jump four. So from 16, we jump four to 20. And then we're going to jump in five. And we'll get finally to 25. Okay, so now we need to recap on what we learned on Friday. Uh, we learned the leapfrog method using very small numbers. We're going to make those numbers bigger because you are grade three. Let's just quickly do a refresher example. So 23 minus 19. And if you remember correctly, if I read the story out to you, I have 19 sweets, Josh has 23. How many sweets do I need to buy to have the same as Josh? Well, and there is the method we used, remember? We started at the smaller number and we added one each time. And how many jumps did we make from 19 to 23? Yes, 19 to 23 is 4 jumps. So 23 minus 19 is 4. 
The next step is to use the leapfrog method but using larger numbers. Like our frogs getting bigger and bigger. Here's an example, 58 minus or subtract 16, or we are finding the difference between 16 and 58. Now imagine how many times we would have to jump in ones to jump up from 16 to 58. That would take ages. No ways. So how do you think we could make this quicker? What do you think, guys? Have you got any ideas? Well, could we jump in bigger numbers, like the frogs are? And what if we jumped in twos, fives, or tens, or eventually even in twenties, or even in hundreds later on in the year? Oh, that would be great. And that, everybody, is exactly what we are going to do, because we are quite smart. So there's our example again, 58 minus 16. Our first step is to complete the 10. Now, grade threes, this is a really important skill to have and a tool to have, whether you are writing out your calculations or you are calculating in your head. So I'm gonna throw the complete the 10, complete the 10, complete the 10 all over my slide because I want it to make an impact on you and you must not forget that that is a very important thing to do first. So, here we have 58 minus 16 again. Um, another important thing I want to share with you is an example of a friendly number is a number that ends in naught. And why I'm talking about friendly numbers is that it's always easier to count in tens or multiples of tens or twenties or hundreds. So by completing the 10, it makes it so much easier to add on in tens. Right, now we know that when we are doing leapfrog math subtraction, we always start with the smaller number. And to complete this 10, I want to find what is the next number on the number line that ends in naught or zero. So I would need have to have to add four to 16 to get 20. Right, now I'm ready to count in tens because I have completed the 10. So now I have added 4 and I'm going to add 10. Plus 10 is 30. Plus 10 is 40. Plus 10 is 50. Plus 10 is, plus, sorry, it's plus 8 is 58. Now, let's add up the total jumps we did to get from 16 to 58 and this is where we add our total jumps up and this is where our answer is so the question is how many jumps did i have to do to get from 16 all the way to 58 i always start counting from the biggest to the smallest numbers so that i know i don't leave any out which is easy to do when you're doing this method so 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 10 is 30 Plus 8 is 38, plus 4 is 42. So 58 minus 16 is 42. Excellent. Let's do one more and then you can do one on the piece of paper that you have in front of you. Right, so what is our problem? 72 minus 23, remembering that we are starting jumping up to 72 from the smaller number which is 23 and the first thing I need to do is add 7 to complete the 10 which is my 30. Having completed the 10 I now pop in 10s. So 30 plus 10 is 40, plus 10 is 50, plus 10 is 60, plus 10 is 70. And now I just have to add a little 2 to get to 72. And if we add up the total jumps in red, starting from my tens, to see what the difference is between 23 and 72 by jumping up, it's 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 40, plus 7 is 47, plus 2 is 49. Well done. Smart, smart, smart. Now you can do this one on your own piece of paper and I'm going to let you
do it on your own give you a little bit of time but i will come in with some hints for those of you who might be struggling or forget what to do in your first step i need lots of teaching before i get something right so your example that you're going to do on your own guys is seven uh, sorry 65 minus 24. can you remember what is the first thing you need to do i'm sure you can remember I'll give you a couple of seconds and then for those who are not sure, I will give you a hint. We need to complete the 10. So for me to add up to, to get to 30, should I say, I need to add 6 to get to 30. I've now completed the 10. Do you know what you've got to do next now with your friendly numbers? Right, and if you're a little bit stuck, let's give you a little bit of a hint. I'm going to now add 10 to get to 40, another 10 to get to 50, another 10 to get to 60, and then I'm going to add 5 so that I can get to 65. And now I can add up my little red jumps to see how many jumps it took me to jump from 24 to 65 but notice I did a little jump of 6 and then I did bigger jumps of 10 and then a little jump of 5 and I got to 65 so let's add up the total jumps and starting from 10 again 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30 30 plus 6 is 36 plus 5 is 41 superstars I can safely say, everybody in grade three, you are probably now totally leapfrog clever. I've created a worksheet for you to complete, which will you, you will find on worksheetcloud.com. I also have the answer sheet there, so you can print the, the sheets out, do them, and then mark them yourselves. So you're going to click on the link above the screen to find the worksheet I prepared for you. Well done today. I am so excited about the next lesson. So I want to just ask you to remember to watch for your language or English lesson a little bit further on this morning, 10 o'clock. Bye everybody. Have a lovely day. Look after each other. Be kind to one another and stay safe and healthy. It's me, Mrs. H, signing out.